Could the lighting be any worse? <laughs> Hold on a second. Hey guys, welcome to Monday morning. <laughs> I don't think I have any footage from yesterday. We had a post-wedding open house here and it was just insane craziness. It was great to see everybody. It was great to finally be able to have a COVID safe event uh, with all our friends and family and celebrate the kids' wedding and relationship. Uh, but I'm tired. <laughs> we have some um, old, dear old friends who are still here in Oregon um, visiting and for one more day. So I think we're going to meet up with them a lot for lunch today and we're going to go get some grocery shopping for a few groceries that we're completely out of now. We're running very low on that we need to get through the week. And also my nephew as his girlfriend, um, who I just love, I met her, I just met her for the first time yesterday, but she just seems like such a sweetheart. Anyway, she had a little bit of work to do um, while they've been up here. So she brought her work backpack and she came in, um, borrowed my office so she could do that. And, which was fine. And, um, but she left her work backpack here. So they have to drive back up this way. They're in Salem and we're north of Salem. So they've got to drive back up this way to get the backpack because all her work stuff is still at my house. So anyway, so we have all that to do today. Last minute wrapping up of stuff. Um, our new patio door comes in tomorrow or the, or Wednesday. Uh, the cleaning lady will be by Wednesday. Plan that a couple days after the events were over. And um, the new patio door will be installed at the end of the week. So that's good. And I think Saturday we're going to go up and help my dad with some stuff. So it's going to be kind of a busy week, but less hectic, maybe. I can get rid of these, maybe. <laughs> maybe. No guarantees. All right. So we are trying to get our lives back to our normal routine post-wedding. Holy, holy cow. Anyway, holy moly, yeah. Um, it's just after six o'clock and we are headed out for a walk. We were going to go earlier, but we were waiting for our nephew and his girlfriend to come by because she left her work backpack with her laptop and everything at our house. So anyway, but they're going to be a little while yet. So we are headed out for a walk and we should be back in plenty of time. So anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. Another house for sale in our neighborhood. Um, be interesting to see for how much. Anyway, all right, we're going to go see what we can see. I'll see if I can take some pictures and I'm still exhausted. Can you tell? My bags are extra big. I didn't know that was a thing, but yeah. All right, Everybody, I'll be back. It is Tuesday morning. I want to say March. It's not March. <laughs> June 8th, I think. I think it's the 8th. I still haven't caught up with my daily drawing. I think I'm still physically just recovering from the exhaustion of the wedding, but it is on my agenda to do this afternoon. So that's a thing. But first I need to run to Walmart to go to the one in Sherwood. Um, we have an organizing project to do at my dad's. Let's see, how do, oh, how do I word this? Um, okay. So for those that don't know, my mother has been ill and she is in full-time care. I am gonna be going up to my parents' house to visit with her at the nursing home on Saturday. I, you know, I'd like to say half expect, but I actually fully expect it might be my last time I see her. Yes, it's that bad. In the meantime, my father is getting used to, or trying to get used to, living at home alone and getting the space to be something he can manage and is organized the way he'd prefer. She's never coming home, so it's time he does that. He's asked for my help. Um, I helped him along with my sister Karen uh, with his pantry closet. So I am headed to Walmart to get some more bins. 
let's be honest, my sister Elizabeth and I both love organizing and it's not that I don't have bins, but I want to make sure I have enough bins. <laughs> um, and we'll be bringing some bins and label making materials for said bins up to my dad's house and <clears throat> helping him with a couple different new categories. And I think every time we go up, we'll be doing something similar. Okay, so we got the blog edited and scheduled and um, the weekly writing done and caught up on and some of those are scheduled. Some of them had to be posted yesterday. They didn't happen, so they got posted now. And then the one for today got posted now. Anyway, I got my car loaded with some bins and things for my dad's on Saturday. Got a blessing and organization bag. Oops. There behind my purse, ready to go for Saturday. Um, I emptied the garbage. I've got to do the dishes. Pretty much we're all caught up. I just have to do the daily drawings, which I still haven't caught up on. But I'm going to actually refill my water. I'm going to do the dishes. And then I'm going to sit down and put YouTube in one ear and my journals and notebooks in the other hand. And I'm going to done. We've got a couple hours until Bob gets off of work, so we're going to get it done. My daughter even called me and asked me about um, DIY ways to press flowers, and she wants to do some resin work with some of her uh, wedding bouquet stuff. She doesn't do crafts often, and yeah, so that was great. Great surprise. Don't get me wrong. Really great surprise. I told her don't buy any more resin stuff because I have so much. <laughs> So anyway, all right, I'll be back. Hey everybody, it's Wednesday, June 9th, 9.15 a.m. Uh, our dear friend and cleaning lady, Letty, is downstairs helping us out getting the house back to rights. And I am going to put some shoes on and go out and pull a few weeds out in the front yard. Yes, I said pull weeds. I really do hate yard work, but it's got to be done. Um, I probably should get on that and check on social media, but... After family discussions last night, and where that went, I am not excited to go there. <laughs> hey guys, all right, so the cleaning lady is done. She helped us get the house back to rights post wedding. Yay, thank you, Letty. You are the best. We love you. Um, our new patio door was going to be installed tomorrow, but it is a two day project, and our contractor is worried about leaving. Um, the trim and, and wall inside and out, well, mostly out, exposed to the elements overnight. And in normal circumstances, it wouldn't be a problem, but we're going to get some rain on Friday. So um, he said he won't have time to put flashing or anything up before the rain hits, and he's worried about that. So we're supposed to have a big stretch of sunshine next week, so he's going to wait and do it next week, which is good anyway because the company the door was purchased from. It is a mill guard door, um, but they have misplaced the screen, which is the main reason for putting the door in is so we can open it and get some fresh air. Kids are out. Do you hear that? Anyway, so hopefully by the time he gets here to put the door in, they'll have found the screen. Let's hope. Um, I got this big giant Sewing spool pin cushion thing at Hobby Lobby last week in the midst of all the chaos. I was like, ooh, that's interesting because I definitely have a pin cushion addiction now at this point. Yeah. Um, I knew that I liked it as it was, but I wanted to do some things to it to spruce it up. And I'll put a picture of it like here somewhere. I think I have a photo of it after I stuck pins in the top. But other than the pins that are in the top, uh, the way you see it is as is. Um, and then today... I created, let's see if I can grab it, it's heavy, it is solid wood, um, this slow stitch part to it, there we go, so it looks so it has a little, little pockets and a pair of scissors, a couple of sewing needles, it's real cute, there's an Instagram sort of video, I'll put it right here, anyway. So, yes, I do now have, I think I have a problem. All right. <sighs> Family drama regarding my parents' 
not getting any better. It's getting worse. And mom is in care full time, but now we're all trying to figure out how to best to get dad to take care of himself. That's the best I can say about that. Anyway, and of course, it's a disagreement and nobody thinks to like, I don't know, ask dad. <laughs> anyway, it's a thing. I'm going to go downstairs now and watch a little YouTube while I am waiting for Bob to get off of work. And then I think we're going to go walking and we'll see what happens after that. I'll be back. You have a tag on. Now, who do you belong to? Let me see. What says, what's your name? Um... It says something. Is that a it's a number? Phone number. Yeah. Okay. Well, we go keep walking. We haven't seen the ducks in quite a while. Looks like we just found where they're hanging out. Cool. Could the lighting be any worse? Hold on okay. a second. That's marginally better, but you can only do so much with this face <laughs> and no makeup. Anyway, I don't know that makeup would help. Anyway, we digress. So I have this journal here that I actually made and I have a few of them for sale in my Etsy shop. Um, they are made with this super thick uh, mixed media paper and watercolor paper um, with chipboard covers, spiral bound. And in it, I have been creating compositions and practicing with different color palettes. If you want to see why I'm doing that and what I'm doing exactly, I'll get an idea of how I got to this place. You need to take my class and I'm, I'm teaching with Bea Grob and Chelsea and all of that because it's over there and that's where I teach that. Anyway, that's not why we're here today right now. Um, I am using this um, as a way to experiment and play with composition and things. And I'm going to try something different. So I am currently uh, fascinated with uh, Felix Scheinberger. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, there are, yeah, Scheinberger. That's how you say it if you don't speak German. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's German. Anyway. Um, I love the way he sketches and paints watercolors and he, there are a few videos on YouTube featuring him. Mostly it looks like they're at the sketchbook school channel, um, but studio 56 for creatives has one, uh, from him and looking to see there's a few, um, channels that have reviewed his book. Um, he has a couple of books. Um, so I would definitely recommend checking his out, him out. I will leave his name, spelling of his name in the video description. Anyway, I'm going to watch some of the videos with him. I have an idea for doing a composition inspired by him and a picture I took at the kids wedding venue. I will insert said picture here and I'm going to try it on two different color of paper gray and, and traditional white watercolor paper. We're going to use the Schminky uh, watercolor palette um, and we're going to see what happens. I don't know. It's going to be a fun experiment, I think. So let's get to it.
now my question is, do I want to do this other side with the schminky watercolors? See what it looks like on gray. Or do I want to try the gouache? Okay, that was a lot of fun. I really like the way both of them turned out. Do I like one better than the other? I don't think so. I think I like them both equally. The gouache, of course, was more challenging to keep the pen lines showing because gouache is, this gouache is very opaque, as gouache usually is, is op opaque matte uh, water-soluble paint. So, um, but they were both really good. I love it. If you're going to do painting experiments like this, I recommend um, doing them in a book where you can make notes in the margin and figure out what you like and what you don't. And um, then when you go on to do future projects for clients, customers, or yourself that you're going to hang on the wall, you have sort of a DIY reference guide of what's going to work for you and what's not. So anyway, that was a lot of fun. No, yeah, it's time. All right. So this is the lesson in what not to do. Read your labels, read your labels, read your labels. Most of the products we use in our art room have some sort of basis in chemicals. There's just no way to avoid that. But limiting the exposure to harmful chemicals as you can, when you can, is always a good idea. And I know better now, and I know I should read labels now more than I do, because in my... Um, interest in um, having the occasional uh, medium around uh, in, in the interest of having some medium around, uh, around that I can create my own DIY fabric paints with. I purchased GAC 900 a while back. I didn't thankfully get a huge bottle, but as you can see, I have used about, I don't know, half ish of it. It's right about there. I didn't read the label on the back. I should have. And you know what? This product contains formaldehyde. I'm okay with a lot of things, but not this. Um, yeah, so this is gonna have to go away and I don't know how exactly that's gonna happen because it is containing formaldehyde and there's probably no safe way to do that. Um, I don't know. If you have any ideas, leave them down below and uh, let me know. I, yeah, I'm, I mean, listen, I, in a former profession, was a licensed dispensing optician. I was a lab tech who was licensed to make and measure U4 eyeglasses. I worked with a lot of chemicals and unbeknownst to me, lots of them contained carcinogens. And um, we, in those days, didn't wear gloves. We weren't told we had to wear gloves. We didn't have gloves on site in most of the places I worked. And this isn't just one office, it's more than one office. Um, and since then, I'm kind of usually more careful about things, making sure at le the least when I'm doing like resin projects, I've got gloves on and that I'm protected. Now I could use this up by just making sure I wear gloves that I'm in a well-ventilated area and all that stuff. But do I want to be bothered? Do I like it enough to be bothered? The answer to that is no. It's expensive. I'm glad I didn't buy a bigger container. I like golden products. Don't get me wrong, but I don't necessarily think this is worth it. 
So there you have it. Anyway, I don't know what to do with it now. If you all have some ideas, let me know. <sighs> yeah, that's disappointing. All right. Hey, guys. Oh, my God. I got so much painting done today. It was such a nice change of pace from what my normal routine has been lately. I am back to work on the lips journal right here. I will insert the three pictures I got done today right about here. Some are good, some not so much, but that's okay. This lips journal is all about picking a particular uh, um, item or body, in this case, body part, and practicing painting it in different positions, uh, different colors, different techniques. Um, with the eyeball journal, there's a series on that. I did some doodly eyeballs, some painted eyeballs, different colored eyeballs, different shaped eyeballs. You get the idea. You could pick flowers, you could do anything. Anyway, I'm doing lips right now. And uh, that was really nice to get all of that done. And the three other journal pages I got done this morning. So it's only three o'clock. I think I'm gonna turn the devices up here off and I think I'm gonna go for a walk. I've still got two and a half hours or so before the husband is off work and we go for a walk together. But in the meantime, I can go for a short walk by myself. And I think I'm going to do that. It sounds like a great plan. I'll be back. Hey guys. So it's, uh, what time is it? It's before lunch. I don't know. Let's see. 11.30 a.m. Friday, June 11th. Uh, I'm looking at the computer. So uh, I don't know if I mentioned or not, but we're having some weirdness going on right now. So evidently our insurance company thinks that this house I'm currently standing in is not our primary residence. And the agents called to confirm that because they got a letter from the underwriters and they thought that was a little weird. And I said, no, that's inaccurate. I'm standing in the house right now. Yes, we do live here. So th that's still not being taken care of. Hopefully that's resolved today. And then I'm getting a letter from the Franchise Tax Board of California. It's only addressed to me, so it must be regarding the art business. I'm not sure if it's related to the homeowner's insurance issue or not. I don't know what the letter says, and I can't get through to the state of California because of course not. I'm waiting for a callback, which could take an hour or more. <laughs> It's just starting off to be a weird day. Uh, so yeah, so that's a thing. Okay. And after many phone calls and much paperwork, and yeah, I think we have today's weirdness taken care of. I think State Farm really knows I actually live here, maybe. And the state of California has the idea now. I don't do business in California. Really hard to do YouTube videos in California when you live in Oregon. Just saying. Anyway, I'm printing out paperwork right now for that, and I'm going to be sending that in the snail mail. I filled their forms out that the state wants, and like, holy cow. In the meantime, in the midst of all that, I painted the rest of the rocks I had. Some of them turned out better than others, I think. I'm not so sure about my turtle's face, but I think they're all kind of cute. One of them was kind of house-like, so I painted a house. Um, there's a couple I'm going to have trouble letting go of, like the rainbow rock. So, yeah, they were a lot of fun. So I got them done, and I got some painting papers done trying to use up some stuff. So, yeah, that part was good. Now if I can just get my printer to cooperate, we're going to be great because, you know. Yeah, oh, I also got a new book in the mail that I'm dying to read. I'm going to sit this weekend, I think, and read it. Um, it's from a German artist, and I love his style. Um, his name is Felix Scheinberger, and um, this is one of his books. He's got a new one, but it's not been translated to English yet, and I don't read German, so. Um, but I, I love his loose, expressive style of watercoloring and drawing. Makes me want to go down to Washington Park, which is, uh, well, actually, no, the King City Park which is not far from my house and go sit on one of the benches and go just do some drawing and sit there. Not today because it's raining, but anyway. All right. I'm going to see if I can get this to print so I can get this in the mail and yeah, maybe do something else with my time other than trying to get a hold of people that work in the government in California. Cause that was a nightmare. 
I swear, my printer just, yeah, anyway, I'll be back. One of the girls is right here under the tree. Sorry about the shaky camera. She is pretty. I wonder if her babies are nearby because she is not budging an inch. Nope. Good morning, everybody. It is 8.33 or so a.m., whatever time it says back there. <laughs> I'm finishing up my morning coffee, and we are headed up today to my dad's house to help him out with some things and cleaning out closets and stuff like that, organizing things, and um, spending the day with him, and then we'll be checking in on my mom. Is it weird that I'm already calling it his house? I don't know. Feels a little weird. But she's never going to live there again, so I don't know. Anyway, we're going to discuss some legal things that have to happen now going forward and some things he needs to do for himself, um, paperwork-wise and all that, all that stuff. Anyway, I don't know. All right, I've got my chicken broth put in a go cup. Uh, my bone broth and all the organizing stuff is gathered. We just have to transfer the baskets out of my car into the kids' car because I think we're bringing their car, not mine. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. We'll hit the road. I'll be back. She drools over the. <laughs> Take it away. For those that don't know, that's funny. It's a puppuccino, evidently. It's just a cup of whipped cream. <laughs> I got to be honest, it's been a tough day today. So the fact that we can watch that, that we're all smiling and laughing, that's that's great. Take, take it away. She <laughs> is covered in whipped cream. Hey guys, it is, what time is it? I don't even know. It's late. Um, 10 o'clock on Saturday, June 12th. We've been home for a little bit. So we got home from my dad's about nine o'clock, I think. Uh, we did something bad. We stopped and got Taco Bell on the way home. <laughs> I didn't have much, but I had a Taco Supreme. I know it was, it was bad. Um, but it was just that kind of day. Anyway, um, we helped dad with what he needed help with today and what he was ready um, to have help with today. I did make sure to print out the Medicaid application for him to fill out for himself. There's no rush on that, but I do want him to get it filled out. And I told him if he has any trouble with it, he's, I think, going to come down on Friday and spend the night down here. And um, I told him to bring the form with him if he has any trouble with it, and we'll help him get it filled out and mailed before he goes back home. And um, I am going to try to get him to come down and spend the night or the weekend here, I think, periodically. I'm, I'm going to shoot for once a month, um, see how he likes doing that, and we'll see. Um, yeah, so my mom is being, so my mom is being, ay, ay, ay. My mom is in a condition where the only help and aid they can offer her is to make her comfortable. And there really isn't any treatment that is going to make her better. Yes, there are things they could do, but the risk really outweighs any possible benefits. So for that reason, she's going to be she is going to have a couple of blood tests and um, probably be started on some antibiotics because she does have um, another UTI, I think. Sorry, I'm getting a mess, uh, text message from Rebecca. Um, okay, so anyway, I'll check on that in a minute. I'll tell you what that's about in a minute. Um, so she's going to be starting on some antibiotics and they're pretty sure that her urinary tract infection is back. So, um, they're going to start her on some antibiotics to treat that, but only in the sense to make her comfortable. Um, 
she has some other issues and not the least of which is the dementia lesions on her brain and a problem with spinal fluid draining, which it should as part of your natural normal process and hers, her spine, the drain in her spine is blocked and it's fixing that is too risky. So uh, as I'm very fond lately of saying, the juice is not worth a squeeze and she is at the end stage of life and, um, what we are more focused on is keeping her comfortable. So she will be transferring to hospice. I don't think she's got long. I don't think the doctors think she's got long. And um, it's very sad, but I think my dad is resigned and ready to do what's needed to keep her comfortable. Um, but I don't think she's long for this world. And it's tough. So we're doing what we can for my dad and to make the transition as easy as we can for him. And you know, encouraging him when he's ready to do what he needs to do as far as making changes in his life and living situation. And so, yeah, inviting him to come down. And, you know, I told him, look, we have family dinner night every single Friday night. And you are always welcome. And usually it's Becca and Polly's, but sometimes it's Rebecca, Polly's, Jenny and Brian. And I know they would all welcome you. And so I think he's going to come down this weekend. So yeah, so that was that. And then my daughter, now that she's married, is into um, drying her flowers from her bouquet. And um, she is um, having fun doing that and asking me about doing things with resin. And she's getting crafty. I don't know where this is going to uh, lead, but I'm very excited about that. And um, yeah, I, I think it's going to be a good thing. So anyway, lots of stuff going on and, you know, yeah, never boring around here. That's for sure. Anyway, it's been an interesting week and we're just, you know, gathering together as a family as one does and supporting each other as, you know, as you should. And that's all we can do, right? So anyway, I hope you all have made it through the week safe and healthy um, please wear a mask if you're still required to do so and take care of each other. Have some fun. Go out and breathe the fresh air. It's beautiful weather outside right now. Most importantly, um, please, besides doing the obvious, check the video description, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon for notifications about new videos when they come out. Um, support that channel as you can by shopping in the Etsy shop or joining Patreon or something like that. I will be restarting Patreon Live soon. Um, and soon as things settle down a bit with my parents. And yeah, all of that stuff. Anyway, the most important thing, of course, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.